like a human being now, huh? <laughs> So is it just like scrunched up? Mm hmm You can see that's the baby's spine. Oh my god, he has little bones in it. Let's see if they'll move fast. What's well, just moving? Like two little hands right in front of its chest. I'm going to have this its back towards us right now. Toward our hands. All right. Don't open them. Please, okay? Okay. Until I get you in position. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Come. Close your eyes. <laughs> Okay, let me see if you're in position. All right. I feel like a... Uh... No. Open him. Turn around. <laughs> oh my God. I knew it. <laughs> That's him? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it, babe. Yes. <laughs> 
Oh. My feeling, I mean, I had a feel. I had a feeling it was a girl at first, and then once we went to the hospital, and when I told you, this little thing is moving a lot, yeah. and it's got a big head, I was like, it looks like a male. But there's chances of girls being hyper too, you know, active and stuff. So I wasn't sure, 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 but I was like, nah, my gut tells me this is a little boy. And <laughs> We came all the way out here for Shake Shack because my wifey was craving Shake Shack for a whole month and there's none by us. He bought himself a Shake Shack the last time we went to LA. I don't know what we were doing in LA, but somehow we were in LA. He ended up getting himself a nice little burger. I was like, uh, I'll just have a smoothie. I always tell her, get a burger, get something. His car. Something broke off. I don't know. He Yeah, so she regretted last time. This time she's like, I'm gonna get a burger. It was so good. She's full. I'm full. I'm stuck. I'm like not even, I'm past. Full. She's debating if she should even eat for the rest of the day. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have fruit. All right, so that's the update right now. We're on our way. Oh wait, I have a baby update. Okay. I don't know if this is normal or not. We're currently at 14 weeks, 14 weeks and two days if you want to be specific and um i'm really not that hungry right now it's been two days that i'm not that hungry all the other days i usually eat like every two hours and since yesterday i had breakfast what did you make for breakfast yesterday yeah. eggs that was it just eggs eggs so i had what like three eggs three. I think that was it? That was all I ate? That's all you ate. So I ate eggs in the morning, like probably at 8.30. I came back from my appointment with the doctor at like what time? 12 noon. And after that I just napped. I napped for like an hour. And then I didn't eat again until I woke up from from the nap, right? And that's when you made... I, I went to Tender Greens and I got lunch out there. Oh, that's right. And the ice cream. She just kind of nibbled on the food. We came back home. She didn't really eat. Went to bed. Woke up. I think she had a snack. Did you eat a snack? I didn't. I ended up getting it because I was like, I should be getting hungry, but I didn't get it. Well, it wasn't chorizo. Yeah, and then around six o'clock, he made eggs again con chorizo, and I ate like six of those tacos. <laughs> And Fire. that was pretty much it. And then in the morning I wasn't hungry either. So I just had like a half a banana and like two strawberries cut up. So I was like, I need to eat something. And then now I wasn't really that hungry, but I just had a a double <laughs> a double hamburger with fries. Not hungry. And yeah, I'm just not as hungry. <laughs> well, yeah. So. I, I think that still looks like I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. But trust me, that's not as hungry as I've been getting. Well, we'll see about that. She says she probably won't eat again for the rest of the day. That's a lie. I call cap on that. <laughs> we will eat later today. But if she doesn't, I'm going to eat uh, ceviche later, later today. Yeah. yeah. And maybe she is too, but she's trying to watch herself on trip. But the thing is, look, 
if we eat shrimp today that's probably the last time we're gonna eat shrimp for like two weeks because next week we're going back to wisconsin they're not eating shrimp over there so she can't eat it yeah um, her baby's developed already anyways. oh like the bump you can kind of see i'm in a <laughs> stage where i look like did i overeat or just <laughs> Or is there a baby? Definitely, there is a bump. Every time I touch it, I, I mean, I, I've been touching your stomach for years. I just so wanted to go, different. like, full-on belly. Because right now, it feels so awkward. Where it looks like this. Yeah. Like, what is that? Oh, my gosh. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. We out. <laughs> Oh, my stomach? <laughs> we show our matching, our matching baby pet. Oh, you're sucking it in, too. I can't hide it no more. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this walk mean? This means I'm gonna go get my iPad when I want whenever I want, where I want. That's why you were popping out your chest? Yeah. <laughs> this is that Your CEO. hands look broken. <laughs> we need to do that. <laughs> oh my god. Here yeah. we go to get him an... What are we getting you? An iPad? iPad. A tablet? Like a little kid? iPad. <laughs> 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 Well, technically, our little kid's probably going to steal it. Well, let's show you guys after. <laughs> Alright, so like... Let's say I want to go over here. No, 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 it's not. Ah, no. No, no, but you wriggle, or what? It's the same thing. Okay. Let me see. Stand right there again. It's currently Mother's Day. Um, we're trying to figure out if we should go somewhere. I quickly just <laughs> got dressed, threw my hair up in a bun. I still look crazy. I don't even do my makeup, but it's okay. Maybe we can just go walk around somewhere. Um, so an update on the baby. We've got like one, two, three. We have three ultrasounds. I told Emmanuel at this point we're just collecting them like infinity stones. We're like, and another one, and another one. <laughs> like we freaking love seeing the baby in ultrasounds. Um, let's see. So I wanted to give you guys an update. I'm currently on week 14. And if you want to be specific, it's like week 14 in a couple of days, like maybe. So week 14 in four days, if you want to be specific. Um, I went to my third ultrasound appointment, which was at my 14 weeks on every Wednesday I turn a new week. And I was able to find out the gender of my baby, or of our baby. And I surprised Emmanuel already. That was really, that was emotional to see him. Um, I don't want to say too much because I want to show you guys later on. I don't know if it'll be in this video or the next one. But I'm definitely going to share with you guys a little piece of it just because it's special and I want it to be in our memories. Um, so what I did 
was I had my appointment Wednesday the 11th. Oh my gosh, I lied. It was Thursday. Thursday the 11th because my sister's birthday was on Friday the 12th. So, <laughs> it was actually Thursday the tw Thursday the 11th of 2023 of May. Okay, so let me let me say it all over again. It's May 11th of 2023, which landed on a Thursday, is when I was able to find out my baby's gender. So that day I woke up early. My appointment was at 10 a.m. That's early for me because I wake up at like 9, 9.30. So I woke up early, <clears throat> had a breakfast, went to my appointment i left emmanuel here i didn't let him go with me because i just i wanted to surprise him he was the one who told me i feel like you're pregnant right now take the pregnancy test so we both got to share that together and i was like i want to surprise him i want him because he already had the upper hand on me and telling me i think you're pregnant so i wanted to surprise him and be like this is the gender, you know? And so for two hours, it was just a secret between me and my baby. And, and I enjoyed it full force. Like after that, I went to the stores. I was like, what can I do to surprise this man? <clears throat> and he hates surprises. So he was just texting and calling and, where are you? Come home. I want to know. Like, he was going insane. So I ended up going to Party City. And as soon as I got out, this woman was walking out with a beautiful arrangement of balloons. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am so going to copy you. And I told her that and she was just laughing. I went in there, um, picked out the balloons and they blew them up i was like what else could i give him but i was like i think that's enough i'll do it like simple and cute so i got him the balloons i got home i oh no i lied so on my way home i was like i am so dumb i forgot the paper of the baby's gender so that he can see too like here's proof of what we're having i don't know but i just thought it'd be nice and then also to collect it add it onto your memory books um so before coming back home from party city i ran back to the doctor's office and i was like hey girls like do you think i could have the paper with the baby's gender and they printed it out for me said congratulations mother's day and all that good stuff and I just said thank you and I walked out ran back here I texted Emmanuel and I told him go into the bathroom like right now and don't come out and close the bedroom door because the way our apartment set up is there's a like the bathroom is basically in our bedroom so I had a close or um, come in here make sure it was closed place the one of the big old balloons on one side and then I had to go to the restroom and while he was he was in there in the restroom and he just looked at me and his eyes are so teary I want to even cry right now his eyes are teary and I was like don't look at me <laughs> like I don't want I want I don't want to cry right now like just don't look at me so we both just started laughing I wiped away the tears and I was like don't come out until I come and get you I closed the bathroom door and the bedroom door. I ran out here into the living room and I started setting up the big balloon on the table and then a, another little one that I got that says the actual baby's gender. Um, so then I got the piece of paper and I wrote on it like me and Emmanuel already have our baby's names picked out before we even knew that like what we were having we were just like okay we'll do this if it's a girl we'll do that if it's a boy so we had those names picked out and 
on the outside I folded the paper with the baby's gender and I just wrote like hi daddy like are you ready to find out my name and I clipped it onto the balloon with the baby's gender and then I put the ultrasound too because he loves seeing those ultrasounds and I put the so I clipped the piece of paper with the gender and the ultrasound to the baby balloon and then I went into the bathroom got him out and told him to just turn around and I stood him right in front of like where I had everything set up and I finally just told him like spin around and find out and he did so I'll share some of that with you guys and now we're getting ready to go to Wisconsin and surprise our parents and our families and I just I can't wait. They all think they know. And they're going to be so shocked. <laughs> and that's all I'll say. I don't want to, like, give anything away. But mm, it's going to be good. I'm so excited. A baby update or pregnancy update, bump update, whatever you want to call it. I haven't been feeling as hungry. I thought entering my second trimester, I was going to be hungry. But I'm not. Like, I think I was hungrier in the first trimester. The first trimester, Jesus help me. I was like eating every two hours, eating anything and everything in sight. And I would legit eat like huge meals. And I feel like going into the second trimester, I'm just not hungry. Like, I think I'm back to eating how I usually eat. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm having a lot of round, I think they call it round ligament pains. And I am getting a lot of those. They were, they basically started like mid first trimester. And now they're still going like... It is not cute. I don't, I've never heard people say it, but like down there, it gets sore. Like if you did inner thigh workouts or something, it's insane. Um, let me see what else. I am starting to have like a little, I guess, bump. It looks like a little gut to me. <laughs> it looks like I just ate like a really good meal. But it's just constantly there now. So baby's coming on through. Something else I saw in the ultrasound was the baby's spinal cord. Like I can see the little bones now. And I'm just like. <laughs> that it's just a wild, wild ride being pregnant. And to see what your body's capable of. What God just allows to happen in your womb. It's like insane. It's awesome though. It's really cool. I never thought I was going to enjoy. I always said like, I don't want kids. I don't want kids. And now look at me. I'm like, I haven't even popped out this kid. And I'm like, give me three more. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another baby update so that I... I just like looking back at this and I want the baby and my family to be able to see like what I'm going through because we, even though we do speak like on a daily basis, there's just some things that you miss because they want to talk, I want to talk. Uh, I believe that's it. Shake Shack right now is like my jam. Shake Shack, double burger. Mm, so good with all the veggies on it. Oh, and the crinkle fries. Crinkle fries get me every time. So the next one will probably be either another update or I don't know if we'll be in Wisconsin yet by the time I post this video, but we'll see.